GE Lighting, a savant company, presents Seeds of Knowledge. How to choose the right indoor grow lights. If you're just getting started, the indoor gardening world might seem a little overwhelming. With acronyms and numbers galore, where do you even begin? Let's start with the PPF, the Photosynthetic Photon Flux. It's how a plant sees the light output. What does that mean? Well, compare that to how you see the light output of a regular bulb. We call that lumens. The PPF is the same idea. All you really need to know is the higher the PPF number, the more light the lamp puts out, the more nourishment the plant will get. So when you're in the aisle looking at different grow light brands, simply look for the lamp with the highest number. Not to brag, but we're pretty sure you'll end up choosing ours. When it comes to bulb technology, LED is definitely recommended. They're energy efficient, they put out very little heat, and they last a long time, which means fewer trips to the store. Now for choosing the right light spectrum. The balanced light spectrum is recommended for the seeding stages of plants that flower and grow fruit, and for the entire growth cycle of plants that do not flower or produce fruit, aka greens. And the advanced red light spectrum is recommended for flowering and fruit growth stages of a plant. Okay, so you've found the right lights for your plants, but what about you? Most grow lights put out an unpleasant purple color, like this. Not ours. Our light appears white and natural, which not only helps you inspect the plant better, but it gives you complete freedom to put your garden anywhere in your house. Sorry, dingy basement. This little guy is going in the living room. Now, of course, lighting is only part of the growing equation. Here are a few other things to consider. Add finding the perfect light to this list and you're on your way to a happy plant. Want to learn more? Watch the next Seeds of Knowledge.